Hello everyone, I'm Susan Kim. And I'm Vince Petrano of the Green Bay Packers. We'll get a day off tomorrow as they usually do on Tuesdays before really starting to get to work against the Seattle Seahawks. The Packers making a return trip to Seattle where they're hoping to avenge that first loss of the season. Packers and Seahawks in the NFC Championship game Sunday. It's the Packers' first shot at a division championship in four years. College football makes history tonight. The Ohio State Buckeyes and the Oregon Ducks face off in the first ever playoff championship. Many expect it to be a battle of the quarterbacks. Oregon's Heisman Trophy winner versus Ohio State's third stringer. The kickoff is at 7.30 tonight in Texas. People opposed to the Keystone XL pipeline plan to protest in Milwaukee today. The pipeline would carry oil from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. Some have suggested it's an environmental concern. Congress is expected to approve the pipeline, but the president has promised to veto the measure. The rally begins at 6.30 tonight. It'll be on the I-43 pedestrian bridge at Ring Streets. For your health this morning, a 26-year-old health care worker in Kenosha County has died from complications with the flu. The radiology tech did receive her flu shot. Typically, the very young or the elderly are more likely to die from the flu, but this year's vaccine was poorly matched to the dominant strains. Some good news for a Racine emergency shelter at risk of shutting down. St. Luke's in downtown Racine was going to close its overnight shelter after running out of money and a lack of volunteers. Well, after today's TMJ4 shared a story about the shelter's needs, people donated more than $10,000. The response is overwhelming, and we're going to need to unpack that. For now, Pastor Kevin says he still has donations to open, emails to return, and phone calls he has to return to say thank you to everyone. Well, you've escaped from the deep freeze, and Brian got to looking at a mild week by comparison. And quiet as well. Boy, Sunday was great. Temperatures uh, in the upper 20s. The sun was out. The wind was light. Felt like a heat wave. And then a little cold front swept through uh, the upper Midwest last night. You can see temperatures yet again below zero in the Twin Cities, Rhinelander, and, and the International Falls. But we're in the teens right now, and we will hold steady like that throughout the day today with that northwesterly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Lows this morning, 17. That'll also be your high today. Uh, it was three in Green Bay after that awesome game yesterday and very comfortable conditions in Lambeau Field. Your weather headlines for today and for the week. Cold tonight, a warmer week ahead. No shoveling to do this week, much quieter. And the pick day of the week looks to be Friday as we start to warm up. For those of you heading out to Seattle uh, for this weekend, bring your rain gear and at least it'll be mild. Temperatures on Saturday out there will be 51 degrees. Rain is likely throughout the day. It'll continue to be damp on Sunday with scattered rain showers. Not a wash up by any means, but it will be rainy during the game on Sunday afternoon with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. The next 36 hours back here at home, temperatures today right around 17 with that northerly wind wind chill will be close to zero tonight chilly down to five degrees below zero inland and wind chills will be between five to ten below by tomorrow afternoon sunshine hey check that out finally a light breeze and a high of 20 so while it is cool at least the sun is out and we're cranking those winds down after being so gusty during the week last week we had those winds of 20 to 40 for today northerly winds at 10 to 20 however and we're going to see this a little lake effect snow band move in here tonight we could see some flurries to maybe a dusting of snow along the the lakefront inland areas will be mostly clear and chilly. And as I mentioned, the winds are light tomorrow with plenty of sunshine, but still on the cool side for around the area. For today, 17 degrees. It'll be partly cloudy and breezy. Wind chills will be near zero uh, with that northerly wind at 10 to 15. So still a little bit on the chilly side, but I think uh, the kids at least will have recess today. Then for tonight, we're talking a temperature right around five degrees. Some flurries along the lakefront with that northeasterly wind. Inland areas will be mostly clear, and because of that, your temperature dropping down to around three below wind chills still five to ten below but no advisories for wind chills tonight or for the rest of the week which it looks to be just fine your seven day forecast shaping up like this 17 degrees today it will be five above tonight 20 for tuesday uh, and look at all the sunshine this is going to be a much quieter week after having so much snow last week in addition to those colder temperatures wednesday will be 20 degrees after a morning low of three so it'll be chilly once again thursday's high is 28 and then as we get to the weekend here comes a little january thaw 34 degrees for friday uh northerly wind at 20 that's why it is or northerly winds will be 10 to 15 excuse me uh, and that's why it's your pick day of the week very windy for Saturday high near 40 degrees and even Sunday a high of 40 and looking further out we have yet to have a big snowstorm around here yet that could change if we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week we'll keep a close eye could on that. change could change and it probably will it's only you know it's a week away it's early yet as we say <laughs> all right thanks so much Brian thank you for joining us